The greater your success. The Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, Hong Kong, Macau, and nine cities of Guangdong. There are three letters that are all the buzz in southern China these days. G B A. They stand for the Greater Bay Area, and it's a big deal. There's the Greater Bay Area Shopping Festival, a Greater Bay Area band formed by veteran Cantal pop singers, and Hong Kong's newest airline is called, you guessed it, Greater Bay Airlines. But what exactly is the GBA? The Greater Bay Area refers to the Chinese government's plan to link 11 cities in the Pearl River Delta into an integrated economic and business hub. The total area is around 56,000 square kilometers, with a total population of 86 million people. Its combined GDP approached a whopping 1.7 trillion US dollars in 2020. It has overtaken the San Francisco Bay Area economically and is only slightly behind the Tokyo Bay Area. At the GBA's core are four major cities, Hong Kong, Macau, Shenzhen, and Guangzhou, each with its own unique advantages. Over the years, many infrastructure projects have been completed that will facilitate travel and communication between all the cities. There's the mainland Hong Kong High-Speed Railway, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, a new border crossing in Liantang, the Nansha Bridge between Panyu and Dongguan, and the Shenzhen Link, which connects Shenzhen and Zhongshan. Under the plan, Hong Kong serves as the GBA's international financial center. The free flow of capital in the city means it can act as China's offshore renminbi center, and Hong Kong can also help Chinese enterprises connect with the rest of the world. Amid rising US-China tensions, Chinese companies have found it increasingly difficult to raise funds in the US, so Hong Kong's mature stock exchange has become the ideal place for them to raise capital. The city's robust common law system also makes it best suited to handle international legal arbitration. Macau will be the area's entertainment hub. As a former Portuguese colony, it also has a unique link to Portugal and other former colonies, such as Brazil and Mozambique. This connection is especially useful to China as the country seeks to expand its influence in South America and Africa. The technology and innovation hub will be concentrated in Shenzhen, known as China's Silicon Valley. The city is headquarters for many of China's tech giants, as well as the world's biggest maker of electric vehicles. Guangzhou will be the GBA's transport hub an advanced manufacturing center. The city is expanding its airport and will play a key role in building a 5,700km railway to link all GBA cities above county level by 2035. The project is expected to cost 74 billion US dollars. Building roads and bridges is the easy part. The real challenge is in bringing these very different cities together. The Hong Kong government has long championed the GBA project, but even yet amidst numerous obstacles will have to be overcome. A report by the Hong Kong Department of Justice said, under one country, two systems, Guangdong, Hong Kong and Macau have different social systems and legal systems. Market connectivity needs to be further improved, and an efficient flow of factors of production has yet to be attained. And while the Pearl River Delta region is relatively affluent compared with the rest of China, economic imbalances still exist between first-tier cities and smaller municipalities. There remains a relatively wide development gap within the Greater Bay Area, and coordination and compatibility will need to be strengthened. Homogeneous competition and mismatch of resources exist in certain regions and sectors. Cities like Jiangmen and Jiaoqing are already witnessing an outflow of population towards first-tier cities such as Guangzhou and Shenzhen. But the extensive railway network in Guangdong province could also facilitate the movement of people, making intercity commuting possible. To tackle these problems, the Chinese government has eased some of its policies. 
After passing a qualifying examination, Hong Kong lawyers are allowed to provide legal services in the GBA's nine Pearl River Delta municipalities on specified civil and commercial matters. There are also plans to implement some Hong Kong laws in Shanghai's courts. Another example is the Hengqin area in Zhuhai. The area will be ran under a dual leadership model via a committee co-led by Macau's chief executive and the governor of Guangdong province. The committee will decide on major plans, policies and important personnel appointments within the zone. China has big ambitions for the GBA and has laid the groundwork for it to become an economic powerhouse that will drive the country's future development. But its success hinges on the full and smooth integration of the vastly different cities and balanced developments across the area.